Oi, fala aí pessoal, bom dia. Você está escutando o inglês do inglês do rádio. I am your host, Foster Hodge. This is your daily dose of English. Testing, testing, testing. Hello, Alexia. How are you doing? Hi, I'm fine. What about you? I'm doing wonderfully. Thank you. So, in the last episode of English do Ikuru Haju, the program that you're listening to right now, we talked about... <laughs> Bad stereotypes. <laughs> we talked about negative stereotypes that, in general, people have about Americans. Yes. So today we're going to show some love to my American compatriots and talk about some of the more positive stereotypes. Let's go. Let's do it. So one of the most common American stereotypes is that Americans work really hard. We're very hardworking people. Work, work, work. Achieve our dreams. What do you think? Is that a true stereotype? Is that a positive thing? I think it's a positive. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Good start. <laughs> I think it's a positive stereotype, but at the same way, it can be a very bad stereotype. Mm -hmm. So, um, first, before we talk about positive and negative, do you think it's true in your experience that Americans work harder than other cultures? I don't know. I really don't know. I, I can't tell. I, I can't compare with resilience, but I can't compare with, I don't know. Okay, so compared to Brazilians, do you think Americans work harder? I think it depends. Okay, so you can't tell us any specific information. Um, Very diplomatic you are, <laughs> Alexia. No, I think it depends because Americans always get really jealous when I say that I have one month per year <laughs> of vacations and everything else. And <laughs> you only have like 10 days, right, per year? Um, yeah, actually, we don't have a minimum requirement. It depends on the company. But every time you say that to my dad, my dad's like, ah, communist. Yes. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know if this means that the company or the person is a work is type a workaholic of thing. Or, oh, it, you're saying if the person is actually more efficient in what they produce? Yeah, I can say that. Yeah. So. Maybe Americans work more, but not necessarily more effectively. Exactly. Okay. So, just with um, my family and friends, do you think they work a lot harder than than your family and friends in Brazil? I think it depends on the personality, but um, yeah. Yeah. I I, I think I think it depends where. You work, and what do you do? Yeah. For example, I have some friends that work in the financial industry. They work a lot of hours. Hi, Zach. Hey, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about you, bruh. <laughs> um, but, for example, you have friends that are English teachers who also work very, very hard, but not as many hours. And as... My friends that works, work as uh, producers, they work sometimes 15 hours per, per day. Yeah. So it depends. It depends where you work, how is your work, what are you doing, which lifestyle you're having. Right. So you think it depends more on the person in the industry yes. rather than just Americans, Americans. Brazilians, Belgians, British. Cool. Yeah. Um, and you were saying maybe working hard isn't necessarily a positive thing all the time? It depends on the, on the hours that you are really effective doing something like i can be in front of my computer for eight hours and have a lot of work and doing that but sometimes you only need four hours to finish what you need to do on that day right so right yeah there's a big difference in the u.s we say busy work which is like paperwork you're just re responding to emails You're just working and it feels like you're really busy. 
but you're not necessarily producing anything of value. Yeah. That happens a lot with everybody, I think. Of course. Yeah. Faz parte do jogo. Yeah. I have plenty of days where I think, oh, I worked so hard today. And then I actually analyze what I've completed in that day. And it's like, oh, I watched a lot of YouTube videos today. <laughs> a hard day of work. Yes. So it depends on the person, where you're working, um, what you do, and your day schedule. Cool. Cool. So, again, Alexia is a very diplomatic podcast host, which we really respect. Of your course. diplomacy. So the second positive um, American stereotype that I wanted to ask you about is that Americans are very optimistic. So, you know, the foundation of the U.S. and kind of the American dream is really based on optimism, that you can construct a better life for yourself and your family. There's a lot of... American you know, dream. Yeah, myth and legend into this. You know, there's really a mythology to it that there's always a better tomorrow. Do you think that's something you see in Americans that you know? Um, yes, but I think that everyone is like this, right? Should be like this at least. Um, I think everyone, it's good to be optimistic. It's also good to be pragmatic and practical. But I think I would disagree with you. So, in my personal experience with a lot of Brazilians, Brazilians are super sociable, fun, personable people, but I don't necessarily know if I would consider Brazilians optimistic. Like, if you ask a Brazilian, um, what do you think the country is going to be like in five years? Oh, not only five years, 15 years. <laughs> yeah, 90% of my students would say, like, Cara, vai ser uma merda, you know? Yeah, but at the same time, it doesn't mean that we are not optimists that in 10, 20, 30 years, it will get better. Mm -hmm. But I think that American optimist... So we have... Uh, no, American optimism is like tomorrow, it's more present, it's not on a okay. fu long future. Yeah, in the long term. Long term. Yeah. So we have three words here. We have an optimist. So that is a person that is optimistic. So we have the noun optimist. And then we have optimism, which is the idea. And then we have optimistic, the adjective. Okay? Okay. Just so we're, we have our vernacular correct. Um, so you think, yes, Americans are optimistic. Brazilians are also optimistic, and maybe it has to do with a yeah, time frame. Yeah, we have type of thing. that expression that eu sou brasileira e não e não como é que é? Eu sou brasileira e não desisto nunca. Uh, I am Brazilian and I will never give up. Yeah, what does that have to do with optimism, though? Um, that you, what do you mean? Of course, it has to be. Yeah, but never giving up doesn't necessarily mean that you are hopeful. It doesn't indicate hope. Of course it indicates. Like, I'll never uh, stop believing that we can be better tomorrow in a 20 years or anything like this. Yeah, that's interesting. I've never thought about that phrase as an expression of hope. I just thought it's like, I um, Brasileiro nunca desiste, and tipo, you're always trying to get the next deal or sale, some kind of malandragem. No, of course not. And when you watch the World Cup or the Olympics and you see a lot of Brazilians singing, Eu sou brasileiro com muito orgulho, com muito amor, which means I am Brazilian with, uh, I am, como é que, how, yeah. how would I sing this? We all know what that means, yeah. No. I'm a Brazilian with a lot of love and hope. Yeah, pride. it's another optimistic thing. Optimistic. Op optimistic thing. Perfect. So, okay. In general, you agree that Americans are optimistic, but Brazilians also share a certain kind of optimism that's maybe a little bit different? Yes. Cool. And what about this idea of the American dream? Because that is something that is uniquely American. When you hear the phrase American dream, do you have any images or thoughts that come to mind? Um, American dream is 
that everything that you earn, your money from your work, you can have a very good quality of life. So you can have your own house, have food at home, uh, put children on a very good public school, uh, not be scared of leaving your house and maybe left the door open and get back and everything is okay robbed so for you maybe the it's american like dream has more to do with just the quality of life quality of life and a certain lifestyle of buying the big american house having a yard with two golden retrievers not a big american house have your house with a backyard with a dog in a, a public school that your kid can go and study and go to university Yeah, that's fascinating to hear your opinion about that. The really interesting thing to me about the American dream is it really means a lot to different people, right? So for some people, it means to get really rich. For some people, it means to just have a good quality of life. But it really intrinsically has this idea of optimism and opportunity that you can make your life better tomorrow. Yeah, but think what I just said. I said that you can buy Think a, about what I just said. I, I said that I can buy a house, that I can live in a very good neighbor, that I can have money. Neighborhood. A neighborhood, that I, I can have money to do all of this. So, of course, it's all about the opportunities and the jobs and yeah, of course. everything else. So, it's all connected. Yeah, yeah, we're not disagreeing. And do you think that exists for Brazilians? Because I think... So I think the idea of having a good place to live, to have security for your family and children, to me that seems like a human dream. It's not just Americans want that. Everyone wants that. Maybe in the South or Brazil, I don't know. Um, where? You know that I always say bad things about Rio right now, about these kind of things. So it's really hard for me to... Yeah, but I think people from Rio want the same things. They want a high quality of life. Yes. They want to have a good job, have security for their family, also have free time to do things they like. So for me, that's not an American dream. That's just a dream. It's a human but dream. But here, people think it's a lot, of, a lot easier to get out of this. It's more achievable. Yes. I think it's a huge mistake to think that. But you have to have plans. You can't just move in to the United States expecting that everything is going to be fine because it's not. Uh, it's a different culture in every single way. But yeah, maybe here things are going to be better. Okay, on that perhaps optimistic, ambiguous last note, I think we'll call it a day. Okay. Oh, yeah. Sound good? Any yes. more questions? No. Cool. We would love to hear your opinions about... The positive stereotypes of Americans. If you agree, disagree, have extras, drop Experience us a line. Experience everything else. At Bye.